wow wow like wow so this is how they would have uh, evicted kanaga jr hmm miracle no they tire jesus so my people hello my wonderful people welcome back how you guys doing in case you are new here i'm rose i watch rose martin's blogs please do it to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified anytime i come back to drop a new video for my returnees thank you guys for always coming back i really appreciate you guys are the best <laughs> guys nigerians are not happy like seriously nigerians are not happy so if they were to, okay if they were to evict for house housemates so kanaga jr would have joined them what's it what's it like this is joke they are just joking like this is a joke because all this why that uh, they have been pairing them we've never heard like kanaga jr have not even near top three talk more of being evicted as a fourth housemate like we've not even seen him on this list like seriously guys so what like what is his name doing here i don't even understand this show i don't really understand you guys are we living a a, a twitter space discussion that they had after the live eviction so that you guys will hear how people reacted like some people said these liberal titans are one-sided uh, they are they are biased um they have been biased to nigerians they are just they already know they are winners and some people are already calling the names which is kosi they say they have already made kosi their winner so uh nigeria should just stop stressing themselves by voting because big brother titans big brother south africa have already made their choice so we should just stop we should just stop the vote we should just stop wasting our votes okay and i don't i don't even like what they are doing to be sincere i don't really like it because this guy kanaga jr have lots of fans like he has people that that are actually voting for him if a nigerian is going to win the show guys it's going to be kanaga jr from the look of things guys it's going to be kanaga jr if they were to make one nigeria to win the show it's going to be kanaga jr because kanaga jr actually have fans like this guy gather fans okay if not for the new evasion system that they came up with that uh, only nigerians cannot make your face win they are just calculating the the, the votes for both uh, south africans and nigeria so so that means if if only nigeria votes for kanaga jr he's not he's not going to make him win but he must have votes from other countries also guys other africans country like south africans and and the rest so guys and they are they, the funniest part is these people did not even create awareness they didn't even let us know their plan and if they are going to change so that people will also uh, change and vote for them well you get they didn't even tell anybody so that who we'll know how to vote you get like they just came up with it like that and to us we're just like we like after the vision we went on checking to know why these people actually did what they did we saw the whole thing that uh, uh, the, it's only uh, nigerians will not only make your faves to win and blah 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 like they say nigeria south africa and rest of africa including nigeria and south africa guys so uh like if nigerians if nigerians vote more for kanaga you know it's not going to it's not going to make him win but they are calculating the votes both nigeria and south africa and uh, some african country like that so it's not only going to be only nigeria that will make him win but other countries that means they are telling us that other countries are not voting for kanaga junior guys it's only nigeria's ha and this thing was just announced to us today like the vision day like the day the vision i don't know when i'm going to post this video maybe uh uh the sunday or monday morning so any day you see it okay because it's, uh, it's already late guys so uh okay it's even that that very sunday of a vision that was when we ourselves noticed it that it's not only we like i did find this i came to realize that so these people said it's not only nigeria that will make our face win that other country have to vote for them now wow these people sharp hmm. i would have said uh these people are not trying no because ebuka is there to speak for us right and and i think that's why ebuka is there to speak for nigerians but i don't know 
because this one that they will just make changes to their they will just change something and they will not even let viewers know viewers that are the one footing they will not even tell them that they have made changes so so that people will know what to do you get they will just allow people to vote or oh, before they will not come and tell them that uh, they did their votes did not was not counted for your face because uh it's only you people that voted the other people did not vote uh -uh, nah, it's not making sense so you guys people are really angry people are really really angry guys some people so i even like saying that this this big brother uh these big brother titans are using nigerians big brother south africans are using nigerians to get to get votes to get views and all that so i'll just leave uh the twitter space gist so that you guys will hear what people like people were actually pouring their mind they were actually angry and they were saying a lot of things so you guys need to watch uh listen to the end and as, as i'm watching as i'm listening please uh give this video a thumbs up leave your opinion in the comment section don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you get notified whenever i come back to post a new video for tac uh Kanakti shippers your faves kanaga and tacti are safe guys so this week we still need like we still have them on our screen we i will still be dropping updates about your your lovers okay your your faves so you guys should just stay tuned okay so you guys should just listen to the twitter space uh gist and after listening guys you need to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that whenever i post another video like this you'll be notified okay and drop your opinion also in the comment section down below all right see you guys in my next video bye for now i'm sure you, you will either get to any country that you will not find it in nigeria now this is not me trying to criticize south africans judging from using the house as a case study and from the ultra that actually from there south africans are people that that based on what i see on the show and i'm using them as a case study you guys, from what I've observed, don't like don't like mixing up with other people. You don't really travel that much. Tabank has ever been outside South Africa. Same thing with Ipeling. I'm same thing, same thing with other housemates. So definitely, if you're not a type that actually tries to know people or gets to know people, you will definitely if you definitely love each other more than people that actually want to know other people and know other culture. So Nigerians and next thing, they are more welcoming. In that aspect, Nigerians will accept you regardless of your culture. And that's why you discover that a lot of Nigerians are supporting South Africans. But the same thing cannot be, is, is not applicable to South Africans. And this is not me insulting you. I'm just say, saying that as it is, based on observation. And I'm using the housemate as a case study. There are instances we have in the house that even, even South African housemates find it difficult to actually bond with their Nigerian counterparts. And this, that doesn't mean that they must bond. It doesn't mean that they, it's a must for them. But it is just an observation. So all these things put Nigerians at a disadvantage because while, they, while Nigerians will be willing to actually support people from other countries, the question is, are South Africans actually willing to do that? Looking, observing from the nature and the nurture, and this is, like I said, most things I'm saying is not, it's not even based on cooking, it's based on facts. Observe the housemates in the house. You will see those cases. Ipeleng said it. She, she doesn't think she, will, uh, she wants to come to Nigeria. Which, which of those housemates that you see in that house that's from Nigeria that we actually utter such statements? We, we love people generally. That's who we are. That, but that doesn't mean that uh, South Africans are bad people. No. No, we are wired differently. The way we behave, like the behavioral pattern of each culture of each country differs. That doesn't mean that South Africans are not amazing people, but they just love to live in their, their, their confined space. And that's my point. All these things put Nigeria at a disadvantage. Nigerians will support you because that's what we are. But are South Africans ready to do that? And then the, the last question that I really want to ask you said this show is about South Africans. And Nigerian, two people. Now, why are you not making it that people from other countries should not determine who is going to win at the end of the day? Why? On what basis? Because if if you're using BBA, BBA comprises people from different countries. Now it is just a country. 
So why using that point? Why why are you bringing that point thing into play? Why are you doing it? And like I said, we have been complaining about narratives from day one. How they've actually pointed painted some 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 house meeting in bad light. We have been complaining about narratives about screen time from day one. The fact that Kosi fight on that show, I think now it's making sense. The fight that Kosi fought on that show and they did not hear it for viewers. Now it makes a lot of sense. Because they have been trying to, like, uh, pamper her. I'm sorry for using Kosi, because it's one of your truth. They've been trying to pamper her and project her in a good light for, for the viewers. So they have been planning this thing from day one. Now, it makes a lot of sense why they didn't show the fight of Kosi. Because when you're trying to paint a, a very good night for someone, and you are selling them to African public, this is what you get at, at, at the end of the day. This and that, that is, I, guys, I don't lie to you. These guys literally play people. That's what they did. And there's there's no way you guys can even come on space to, to come and, to come and make an excuse of this. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ayo. Thank you. Ayo. Let's go. You can speak. Oh, okay. Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Ah, as the conversation moved from the voting thing, because Jesus Christ, hands have been up for almost three hours. <laughs> God, I don't know what what I was talking about now, I beg. I wasn't listening. <laughs> if it's still about the voting thing, then I can. Uh, anyway, Sha, I wanted to even come here and support. There was a girl that was speaking before I I when I put my hand up. I cannot remember her name again. It was Deborah or something like that. About the press conference thing. Yeah, I went on YouTube to search and I saw I saw it. That thing that she was saying about the whole hinting about um the voting spreading across the country. I, I saw there was a part where Ibuka was talking about the voting thing. I even talked about the election in Nigeria aspect. So yeah, I was I was going to agree with what she said then. But I don't think uh, most people would have associated it with what they are doing with now, Sha. I don't know. It was very it was very vague. For you to be able to pick it up, it would be that maybe you're inside the booker's head or he may have secretly told you. But there was hints, Sha, that they will spread it across you know the, the rest of Africa to get involved in the voting process. Honestly, that's that's all I, I I remember right now. It's been three hours. I'm tired. Uh, you guys can come to me. All right. Um, hi, Omide. You can speak. Okay. Um, good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, like I said, the whole the whole process is. It's just it's not it. I what I found out is this show is is just mainly for the South Africans. They are just using the Nigerians for this show. They've seen it, they've understand it. And when I got to the um point of this was when Yeli that's Yemi, because I stand for Yemi and I noticed how they played their game on him. I just lost hope on the whole show. Because how will you tell me someone has been trending? He has been trending from week one to I don't, I don't care when they even he has been trending and all of a sudden you just brought the card of top three, bottom three. Next minute is gone. And that's the same thing that's playing out for Kanaga. So I just see the whole thing, like this thing, they're just using us. They want the views. It's not they have their winner already. They have their, they are just using Nigerians because they know Nigerians will enjoy this. We used to, we used to hype things. We they hype things too much. So the whole thing eh, is, is just an eye opener. It's just an eye opener. And I, I just hope it, it doesn't happen to Kanaga. That's just the fact. Because now it's coming out, bottom three. How will you tell me Tati or Tasi? I don't know what his name is having more vote than Kanaga. It's just crazy. To be honest, it's very, very crazy. So they are playing their game well, but all good and said. The 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 show is hosted in South Africa. 
the production in South Africa. Ah, you tell me how, how, how would they not play their game? They will. So it's awful, dog man. I've lost interest in the show, sir. So that's all I just want to say. All right, thank you. I'm um, the Empress T. You can speak. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, what I want to say is, I've I've listening to a lot of people talking about the show being biased to Nigerians alone. If you if you guys noticed from day one, from the beginning, the show has been biased, even to some South Africans that they believed will win or will, they believed can compete with the person they want to win because. There's nobody that would tell me that these people are not choosing someone. And that is why you will see that no matter what this babe did in that house, they are not going to do anything, like nothing. Kanaga Jr. has never been bottom theory, even when he was paired with Blue Haver. He was never in bottom theory. Tabana was in bottom theory. Juvon was in bottom three. Um, okay, I don't know about taxi because she has not always been up and all that. But why all of a sudden, when they were now compared them, Kanagana appeared in bottom. Like Kanaga that we know is a very strong and a competitive person, and a lot of people loved him. So how come he is now in bottom four? And Tabana is ahead and Taxi is ahead. I can even talk, I can even talk about Yvonne because Yvonne is a very strong contender as well. When when this I, I was telling my daughter, I said, I'm very sure of Kosi, I'm very sure of Yvonne, and I'm very sure of Kanaga. That the people that are going, I, I'm not really sure about the others, even my fifth blue wave, I'm not sure. But I'm very sure. But it was very, very surprising when I saw the um voting this thing, I shouted, like, how could Kanaga be in bottom four? That is not possible. And that, that is where you will know that this show is very, very biased. Look at when they were, there was one eviction and taxi and all that. Is that the first time they'll be talking about, uh, can you call, can you call, don't vote, don't. But because they know that taxi was going to save um, either black leg or so, they make them to also be on eviction. They really, they know that, Ikbele, Ikbele, I can't pronounce that, IIP, Sha, she's not really a con strong contender for their Puppet. They want every. They want to evict every strong contenders and let the weak, um, uh, weak link follow this girl to the finals, so that they will they will say, okay, she win fair and square, which is not it. And that is why they need to call their bullshit out. And if you if the production, you can even see if, if there's nothing anybody can see that they are not protecting this girl or they don't want this girl to win even because the production the handlers and everybody what they used to post on their on their timeline is nothing to write home about it shows clearly it's very very glaring that this is what they want to win from not giving him enough screen time from uh, like doing a lot of things that will break their morale both yvonne and kanaga jr things that will break their morale in the house but those just because those people are so strong they can but a particular um Sandler were like even um uh, at uh, to the list they, they they shaded the girl like trolled her even DSTV DS not DSTV Nigeria DSTV South African like they wrote that caption in a way to show that they were trolling her or they are, they were mocking her. I don't know I've never seen a professional handler a professional page organizing a show favoring some uh, favoring a particular housemate over others even if you are biased you're not supposed to show it to people that okay we are biased you're not supposed to show it that okay we prefer some people to some people or we prefer this babe to others so i just feel like canada still have that chance to win even if they say okay this is this is what you want to because you did not tell people since monday that they have been voting that they need votes from other countries like um gambia burkina faso or something like that to make up for the vote it was on the eviction night when you have done whatever it is you want to do that was when you now put it there that okay this is how the voting was done i expect people to know and it won't surprise me on final you'll be saying like 
the third and fourth. Everybody is saying uh, Kosi is winning, Kosi is winning. Sorry, I'm so mentioning it's not I don't hate the girl, I'm not I don't have any snake against her. But the thing is, what has Kosi brought to the show that others have not brought? What has she done on the show that others have not she's she's following me now. kissing me and by herself so others they refuse to do it so they will not vote for them there's so everybody should, everybody should be given a free chance every the the reason why blue eva was cancelled they said she she collected um a, a boyfriend or something and they were sneaking uh, is that about not sneaking with cosy to do things now did they cancel her because of that no because they already they, that is who they want to win and that is what they are putting all their so there is nothing there is no amount of the campaign you can do or anything you can say about the girl or anything that is the winner and that is the reason why they put Kanaga in bottom four, so that when that girl wins, they'll be able to say, okay, the winning is free and fair. But I just feel like it is not too late for K Force. And I'm a blue, I'm a, I'm a blue diamond, but I am supporting Kanaga. And I'm very sure that a lot of people supporting is not about it's not it's, people, it, this is right now, it is not too late. People should not relent and say, Okay, uh, since our vote will not count or Kiniko Kiniko, our vote will count let's at least try and gather vote from other countries like they say we should we still have two weeks we can do it and i believe that if we put that effort we will come out triumph that is what i believe thank you